Solving right triangles. If AB is the diameter of a circle of radius 10 units, determine primary trigonometric ratios sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta. So what we are given here is a triangle inscribed in a circle. Radius of circle is 10 units. So OB is 10 and OA is also 10. We are also given BC as 10 units and angle C is 90 degrees. So it's a right triangle within the circle. And what we need to find is the value of sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta. So we can adopt an approach by solving first the triangle and then finding the angles. That is one approach. The other approach is find the angle and then the trigonometric ratios. So we'll use the first approach, which is solving the right triangle. So we know triangle ABC is right triangle, right? Now since it is a right triangle, we can find what AC is. We know AC square is equal to AB square minus BC square. That is AB is 10 plus 10, 20. 20 square minus BC is 10, 10 square. That gives us a value 400 minus 100 and that is equals to 300. And therefore AC is equals to square root of 300 which is 3 times 10 or we can write 10 square root of 3. So that gives us the value of AC which is 10 square root of 3. So that's what we calculate, right? Now from here, we can find the trigonometric ratios. So we have a right triangle with all sides known to us. AB is 20, right? So AB is 20, the diameter. What is sine now? So we can write sine theta as equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So let me write the short form which we all know. So katoa sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So let's use that one. So sine is opposite is 10 and hypotenuse is 20. So we get a value of half. Now let's try to calculate what is cosine theta. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos theta is equals to adjacent side of 10 square root of 3 divided by 20. That gives us square root of 3 over 2. And how about tan theta? Tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So we can write tan theta as equals to opposite of 10 and adjacent of 10 square root of 3. That gives us a value 1 over square root of 3. So we get all our values, right? So that is one way we can solve this triangle, correct? So try to understand it, how we did it. Now let's do it with an alternate way of doing it, right? Which is, we are given a triangle ABC. So we'll again solve the triangle ABC. In this triangle, we are given AB equals to 20, that is the hypotenuse, and BC equals to 10. Now using opposite side and hypotenuse, we can find sine of theta, right? So sine theta is equals to 10 over 20, which is half. Now from here, you can find what angle theta is. Theta is sine inverse of half, correct? Now you can use calculator to find angle theta. So which gives second function, sine inverse, within brackets, half, which is 0.5, equals to 30 degrees. So we get theta equals to 30 degrees, correct? Once you know theta as 30 degrees, you can write trigonometric ratios, right? So let's rewrite all our answers. So we have sine of 30 degrees, use calculator write down, and then, well, we know this is half, and then we can use cosine of 30 degrees, again using calculator, cosine of 30 degrees, and we can get our answer. Alternate ways use special triangles. So let's make a special triangle here. 
which is 306090, right? So let's make one since we are using 306090. So that is 60 degrees and this one of course will be 30. In a special triangle, the sides are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to square root of 3. Now from here, you can write what cosine 30 is. When we say cosine 30, we have to look from 30 side. Square root 3 is the adjacent, right? So we get square root 3 over 2, the hypotenuse. How about tan? Tan of 30 degrees is opposite side over adjacent, so 1 over square root 3. So that is an alternate way of solving the same question. You should go through both the methods because at times we will be using one of these. And it's a good idea when we are starting with right triangles to understand different ways of solving a question. So what I really taught you here was use Pythagorean theorem at times to find the third side. Use special triangles so that you can get values or the answers in exact values without using calculators. Or find the angle and use calculator. So you can use all these ways of solving right triangles. I hope you appreciate it and it helps. Thank you and all the best.